Hey guys, it's Agonis Dilmer again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the casual chats that I have with my community. And today I want to have a different topic, and this topic is going to be how we can make sure that we can accomplish a lot more work than, you know, that we have done before. And as I think about some of the things that I've been doing over the last few years and what I've been doing in the last couple of months is always has been to make sure that I feel the best that I can feel. The reason why that is important is because if you want to say you want to work on a project, you want to be helping somebody, you need to feel as your best. And one of the things that I do to feel at my best is getting a lot of work done. So you gotta be thinking about how can I, be, can I, how can I get more work done by doing things that I really enjoy doing. And some of those things are, I like to work out. I like to wake up early in the morning at 4 a.m. in the morning and be there before anybody else is there. Make sure that I'm exercising. And I don't do it for the physical part, I do it for the psychological part. The reason I do it for the psychological part is not because I'm crazy, but it's because I really enjoy feeling healthy. And if I enjoy feeling healthy, if I enjoy you know everything that I'm doing throughout the day, then when it comes you know to work on my projects i feel at my best i can do you know anything that it takes to to make sure that, that project gets pushed through and then at the same time i feel really healthy so if you're debating on you know starting on a project but you really want to do you know you want to continue your routine and at the same time you know exercise and and do all these things that you really enjoy doing i wouldn't ever stop doing those things that you really enjoy doing because what's gonna happen is you're gonna offset those things and you're gonna be regretting why you didn't spend time doing those. So if I like to work out in the morning, that's what I try to do as much as I can. Then I come in, into my office, I'm super excited, I'm super pumped. I'm going to be you know, doing videos. And, and it's really interesting because when I'm at the gym and I'm exercising, I'm also thinking about you know, focusing on exercising, but at the same time, I'm thinking about what things I'm gonna be talking in the channel, what games I want to develop, what do I need to do. But what it also helps me do is when I'm in my office, I'm sitting down and I and I have that great feeling of, of knowing, okay, I exercise, I, I feel really healthy, I feel really energized, I can help somebody else, I can help my community. Because at the end of the day, you need to feel good if you wanna help somebody else. So if I can feel at my best and I can bring you guys the best content that I can possibly bring, then, then that to me is success, and that's some of the things that you need to do. So one of the things and take away from this video is I wanna make sure that you keep on doing what you really love doing, and if you love you know, going out with your family, going in on vacation, I would say do those things, but don't forget about your initial goals. So if you want to you know, achieve your dreams, make sure that you're also adding value to that every day. So a lot of people that I know have a really hard time focusing, have a really hard time, you know, doing doing things, uh, basically what I'm doing, like trying to spend a lot of time in my side business and, you know, making videos. And, and one of the things that I always tell them is you need to feel at your best. Just like I said, make sure that you feel healthy, make sure that you do those things that you really enjoy doing. And then beyond everything, you need to be consistent. And, and I get a lot of questions, Zilber, how do you push so much content? And, and it's not that I'm, you know, I have a magic wand to do that. It's just that I try to stay focused. I am consistent every day. I'm waking up every day. For instance, last night I didn't really feel like like making a video, and I was really tired. I had a, you know, really long day. I went out with my kids, and I was, you know, I was beat up. But I knew in the bottom of my heart that I really wanted to make a video, that I really wanted to bring you guys content and that I needed to add value to the app that I was working on. So I spent two hours doing that. I spent one hour working on the video that I pushed last night. And then I also spent one hour working on the app because if I stop working on one thing and I don't, and I don't push myself to do those things, what's gonna happen is it's gonna stay idle. And then it's basically gonna be one of those projects that you start and you never finish. And you know, even if you spend 30 minutes a day working on that project, believe me that you're gonna be releasing that project because that's what I did in a lot of the projects that I worked on before. So make sure that you feel at your best, make sure that you're consistent because all those things are really gonna get you to your goals. So, so that's everything that I wanted to talk to you guys today. If you guys have any questions, 
please let me know. And again, don't forget to check out gamedev.net. I always tell you in every video because they really have good resources for game developers, also a great community, great forums. So, and also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting, you know, what I'm doing behind the scenes. I also post early access to source code and then also what I'm basically working on for the next week. Thank you very much, guys.